Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Natasha and I do book things. Today's video is going to be a tag because why not? It's very dark and dreary and rainy outside and kind of cold so I'm in my sweater but we're gonna do a tag because I want to start doing them on my channel and I actually haven't done tags so if you guys have any good book related tags that I should do please like let me know of them or tag me in them or something so that I can do them so the one that I'm doing today is the guilty reader tag I was tagged by Julie from pages and pens I'll leave her link down below so you can go check her out because she's awesome so she tagged me in the guilty reader tag and there is 10 questions so I'm just gonna go ahead and do them so the first question is, have you ever re-gifted a book that you've been given? And I have not done that. Um, I typically will value anything that someone gives me and I just kind of keep them. Even if it's something that's not like my thing or I don't like, um, I have, you know, Jeff who might like it. So uh, I tend to just keep it and I don't think I've ever re-gifted a book that I've been given. The second question is, um, have you ever said you read a book and you didn't? All of the time. <laughs> Definitely all through high school, all through university, any sort of assigned readings that we needed to do for class. I definitely have said I've read things when I have it. You know, spark notes was a thing or like, what is it? Like, you know, you go and you just get like the gist of a book. Uh, definitely said I've read stuff and I didn't and yeah, I'm very guilty of that. Uh, just assigned readings, things that I don't want to read then yeah. So the third question is, have you borrowed a book and not returned it? No, not currently. Um, as a kid, Definitely, like I think I've, you know, I've, I've definitely kept a book longer than the expiration date. I've definitely had books from friends that like three years later I've had to hunt them down and go take your book back. I feel really guilty when I have other people's possessions and I'm like, take it, like just, you know, I don't want it anymore. A funny story about not returning books. I was a kid and I had 10 different books out. That was the maximum that you could um, have at our library. And so I took out 10 books and this was back in like the 90s or early 2000s and so I had brought them all back and the librarian was sort of out doing stuff and so what I did was I put them on like the return shelf and so they got returned back into the library but they thought that I didn't return it and so I ended up with like 70 or 80 dollars in late fees <laughs> because they never checked it off like in their system that I returned them and so I remember going back and being like oh okay let's take out some more books and they're like yeah you have 77 dollars in late fees and I'm like what? They're like yeah you have all these 10 books and I'm like no I don't and I had to go like around the library and remember those 10 books and literally brought them and it was like um, I don't have these. Here they are. Oh, well, it wasn't in our system. I'm like, bitch, like, I don't have these books. They're right here. I ended up never going back to my town library after that. So as far as I know, in small town Renfrew, since like 2001, I have had $77 in late fees for books that currently exist in their library. Question number four is, have you ever read a series out of order? And not that I'm aware of. Um, I definitely think I did again as a teenager. I used to read these like really shitty little like teenage love stories and there was like 78 of them and I definitely read those out of order. But nothing like, not a major series, like not like Harry Potter or like, I don't know, anything like that. I tend to just like reading them in order. I like reading them almost like consistently, like one after the other. Um, but no, not that I'm aware of. Number five is, have you ever spoiled a book for someone? All of the time. I basically, I spoil books by like asking the person like, hey, do you mind if I spoil this book? Do you have any interest in reading it? I do it with Jeff all the time. Like I'll be reading a book and I'll be like, oh, there's just like really cool moment in it. And I'm like, Jeff, do you mind like if, if I spoil this book for you? Um, and he's like, no, I don't care. He's like, I have no intention of reading it. So then I spoil it just because I'm excited to tell someone what's going on. In terms of like booktube, I hope not. I hope I haven't spoiled anything for you guys. Uh, I try not to do like major spoil spoilers. It's hard though to talk about books and not really give any spoilers when you can kind of give like, well, this might happen, but I don't know, nothing, nothing major. I don't think I've gone like, hey, you on the street, blah, 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 like no, <laughs> but um, definitely have asked people before, can I spoil this for you? Um, number six is, have you ever doggy eared a book? 
all the time as a kid. That was my favorite way to mark books. I used to do it to library books. Shame, 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 shame. <laughs> but not anymore as an adult. I like keeping things pristine because for some reason, like I keep all the books that I have, but in the back of my mind, like if I ever want to resell them or donate them, then I'd rather have them in like the most pristine condition that I can. Um, I don't have nice bookmarks. If anyone has like nice bookmarks or knows where to get good bookmarks, let me know. But like I use like business cards, receipts, like random scraps of paper, anything like that um, as bookmarks. And number seven is, have you ever told someone you don't own a book and you do? Um, no, like I'm pretty, I'm pretty used to just telling people like this is what it is. Um, like, you know, I have the Fifty Shades of Grey series, I haven't read it yet, but like it, there's no shame in like what you like. Personally, um, I'd be concerned though if like I had all like really weird like Marquis de Sade kind of like books around like I just not it's not something I would be like proud to like walk around I don't know it's it, I've never lied about it I'm just like you know whatever like I have that have you ever told someone that you've read you haven't read a book when you have uh, again in university I lied and said hey I didn't get a chance to read this book yet um, can you give me an extension on my paper um, just because I needed more time to write the actual paper not because I didn't read the book so I guess that was a lie that I actually had read the book I just needed more time to like process my thoughts so I have lied about that <laughs> have you ever skipped a chapter or a section of the book Absolutely, I've done this a lot. Um, I wouldn't say like full chunks, but the only one that I did do full chunks, I guess, would be the Game of Thrones books. Um, I read, the, tried to read the first one, it's just not my thing. I'd rather visually watch that kind of show. Um, I don't really like big, heavy, detailed books like that, and so I definitely skipped to like um, Daenerys's sections or things that interested, interested me more. Um, in terms of skipped, not really, like I tend not to be a skimmer because I read pretty quickly. I'm more of a skip big chunks if it's a book that's laid out in character for like format like that. And then the last question is, have you ever badmouthed a book that you really liked? No, no. If I like something, I like it. And even if I feel stupid for liking it, like, oh, I really like this book that everyone hates or, you know, um, yeah, like I don't, I've never, I never lied about that. It's just, just accept your love for a book, you know? Like if you like it, you like it. And um, sometimes people will ask you like why you like it. Like I think this book is shit, but then it just, that kind of opens up a discussion like and you get to defend your feelings about it, which I like to do. So so yeah, that was my guilty reader tag. Um, I am not sure who to tag and who hasn't done it yet because I don't know enough about the booktubes yet. But if you have a booktube channel and you haven't done it, I tag you. <laughs> so yeah, I wanna thank Julie for tagging me in this. Um, fun tag, I love talking about stuff so so uh yeah hopefully everyone is doing good and until my next video i'll talk to all of you soon bye